Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, thanks for stopping in. So this is a video I've been wanting to make for a while, um, and it's on uh, this thing here behind me. Uh, actually, our, our whole system. But uh, I just wanted to talk about why why we decided to go this route and uh, whether what we got is is working and is it any good. Uh, so I mean, there are uh, a lot of things to think about when you're when you're going to solar because there's some things that are just off the table uh you just can't have um so we'll talk about that and and i'll show you what we got and hopefully maybe this will help somebody out uh you know if they're thinking of thinking of doing what we're doing um maybe this will be a little little simpler there's there's an endless supply of videos on youtube talking about solar uh and they go into a lot of detail uh some of it is quite technical and and, and it's hard to, to work out you know is that's is this what we need uh, or is that what we need you know is this big enough is that big enough uh because it's it's not always put into a real world circumstance you know you can talk about watt hours and amp hours and and you know how many watts your your solar array is and stuff but you know it's difficult to, to put that into your life and go is that is that gonna work so anyway i'll uh i'll start here i'm gonna I'll go down and I'll show you why I guess we have to have this system and um, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Um, yeah, so I came out here to the road to show you uh, why we have to have solar. Um, there's no power poles. So there is one way down there and then if I turn the other way here. Uh, there is one a few miles down the road, but they don't connect. Apparently they used to or something. They came and took the poles out. So I imagine if I really wanted to be on the grid, they would come and put me, I don't know how many power poles it would take to get here. And then I got to get down the, the 500 foot driveway with, uh, with power poles as well. So I'm sure that wouldn't be free. Uh, so that's, I guess, reason number one, why we have to have solar. Uh, but we wanted solar. We were just tired of the big bills. And, uh, and so we're, <laughs> we're enjoying not not paying them at the moment but but there's a, a price to pay with that in the fact that you don't have unlimited power right you uh you, you know have so much and you have to make it last or or you got to start the generator and then then you're burning gasoline so that's that's not cheap nowadays either so anyway so that covers why why we have solar and not something else and then i think if we wanted to bring power in uh i don't know if they could Put the poles next to our driveway or you know if we end up having to cut another path just for the poles and the wire the through the forest so uh, that's not something we wanted to do because i mean this driveway is just wide enough for a vehicle there's no there's no ditch or anything to put power poles in so we're back to my system here uh so behind me there's there's 1200 watts here um they're all uh, 150 watt panels and uh they're run uh in parallel these there's that series parallel i guess there's four these four panels and then those four panels they're all hooked together um so i get uh i think i get something like 80 volts it, it, it depends on the on the sun but um anyway so it's a fairly high voltage so i can use a much smaller wire i think we have 10 gauge going from the panels into the house and uh, that seems to work pretty good uh, if I was to hook them up differently, so that's like, you know, they're only giving me 12 volts, I'd have to use a much bigger wire uh, to run into the house with. Um, so the high voltage is, is really helps. So this is what we've got for batteries. We have two of these uh, lithium ions, uh, 300 amp hour. Um, yeah, so there's a, a number of reasons we went with the lithium ion over, over regular batteries. They are expensive, but um, they charge quicker and, and you can drain them down further and supposedly they last longer. I guess we'll, we'll find out. And this is the solar controller, uh, that we bought. So it's an all in one solar controller. And we did that just for simplicity's sake. Um, and, and the amount of room that it takes up when you haven't got much room. Uh, I mean, this is, you can see my hand on it. It's not very big at all. Um, it's, uh, it's kind of hooked up roughly, but it's all just temporary in the, in the temporary tent here um but it works good so that's the 3000 watt inverter 
and it takes uh, the generator goes into there the solar panels go into there um, and then uh, power out to the the house 3,000 watts of 120 volt and uh, and the 12 volt batteries hook into there and then it's pretty simple it's got a little little screen so we're at 26.3 volts and uh, it's giving us you can see up here 100 120 volts um, I guess they're, they're probably all similar but different in the way that they uh, they show you that stuff but it's pretty easy to use so that's our whole system um, there's like three main components there's there's the panels there's the solar controller and the batteries um, and then there's just wire in between so it's it's not really that complicated especially if you get that all-in-one system uh, I guess the downfall of that would be if one portion of it goes wrong you know if you have a, a charger and an inverter and a solar controller uh, if one component goes wrong you go you buy another comp component but I think that thing was only 900 bucks for the whole thing um, and these panels behind us uh, weren't that expensive I think they were about 150 bucks each or something um, from the cabin depot so uh, I don't know if there's any more cabin depots out there in New Brunswick we have this this one store that sort of caters to this stuff um, so that's that's pretty good that's where the the batteries came the whole system came from there so uh, yeah so that's our system uh, so there's uh, 300 amp hour batteries there's two of them and they're hooked up into 24 volt so I guess if I was to try and put that in, in real simple terms, I think your average car battery is around 100 amp hours. Um, and so that's, that's like 600 amp hours worth of car battery. Uh, but because they're lithium ion, I think you, you can sort of drain them down lower than you could with a, with a normal lead acid battery and not damage the battery. So if you have a 100 amp hour car battery, you only get like 50 amp hours out of it. Um, I guess you could probably get more, but you, you run the risk of damaging the battery. And uh, with these, I think you can go kind of to 80%. So anyway, uh, so that's our system. So with our system, it, it's working great for us. Uh, we've It took some time to get used to it, uh, like I say, because it's there's a lot of people that talk about you know how many watts and 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 how many amps i got and and you know everyone wants to be able to to just sort of live a normal life on on solar and i don't really think it's possible i guess maybe if you had a million dollar system or something sure you know sky's the limit but uh like you're never going to have a, a 220 volt dryer uh clothes dryer you just it's just not feasible you know you need such a huge system to be able to do that uh you know maybe you can have one and run it once a week for a short period of time but if you want to do a whole family's worth of laundry uh it would be running all day and it, it just never work so i mean off off our system which i think is a like a starter system i guess uh or a, a kind of an economy system it's not huge by any means uh i mean obviously it's better than one car battery and one of them 80 watt solar panels you get a canadian tire but um so it, it, it runs the house pretty good uh we got a 24 volt fridge uh, that runs directly off the battery so that's our our most important i guess appliance in the house obviously keep keep the food good uh you know we've got a little little bathroom fan extraction fan that runs all the time it's it's a couple of watts we've got led lights so it, again it's a couple of watts i think they're nine watts each or something so we're not really drawing a whole lot of power that way um we do have internet uh so that's kind of a a, a couple of amp constant draw uh so that's probably our biggest like slow draw with the, with the batteries uh over time but um it, we, do, we do fine you know, we can get two two three days well i don't know about three days but we get two days uh, we can we can honestly get two days as long as we don't decide we're gonna you know overdo it with the power like we're all gonna plug in laptops and watch movies for hours on end because uh, that that'll draw us down we can do it but we can we can only do it if 
we're either willing to run the generator or we're going to get, you know, a nice sunny day the next day to, to bring the batteries back up again. So the million dollar question is, uh, is solar any good? And I, th I think honestly, it comes down to your, you have to wrap your head around it. It comes down to your mindset. Uh, what's more important to you? You know, you, you pay the electricity bill, uh, and plug stuff in all day long, I guess. Uh, the alternative is you don't pay the electricity bill and you, you have to, um, you have to be careful with your power. You know, you, you use it to, if the sun's shining, that's when you plug, plug everything in and charge all your other batteries or charge your laptop or your phone and that type of thing. Um, now not to say that we can't use it. I mean, obviously we do, uh, but it's running a fridge and a little extraction fan it's running the internet so there's things that kind of are out of your control almost they just you know they have to be there and the batteries are supplying that and then there's what you decide you're going to use you know you're going to plug in your phone your laptop and whatever else to uh to use that day uh obviously always takes the the time down uh, on how long the batteries are going to last so it's it's sort of that real frame of mind you, and sacrifices do have to be made you know can i i, I want to run my blow dryer for an hour well do you have to do that today or can you do it tomorrow and that's just sort of what it what it comes down to uh i guess this is a bit of a reality check for some people that maybe have never used solar um and you just think, oh, I've got, I got panels. I'm good. You know, they'll charge the batteries. Everything's wonderful. No, you, you really have to watch, you know, how much, how much power you're using. Um, I mean, unless you want to pay for gas, in which case, I can use power all day and run the generator. Uh, we try and avoid that. Uh, it, to us, it def defeats the purpose of having the solar panels. Um, the, the kids really wanted a, like a game and night where they could play their laptops and stuff for hours. And, and so I said, that's fine. Friday nights will be game and night. And then I'll start the generator and they can play to their heart's content, right? Uh, we just try not to do that every day because obviously the price of fuel is expensive, especially nowadays. And uh, that's what it is. So I don't know. Uh, hopefully that's maybe helped somebody make it a decision. Like I say, I, I don't claim to be uh, any guru on, on solar, but I just wanted to show you our system and, and kind of let you know how it's, how it's working for us. Um, we are happy with it. It's, uh, it works really well. It obviously works a lot better in the summer than it does in the winter. Partially, the, part of that problem is, is the, the cabin's in the way and it blocks some sun. And I didn't realize that until until it started happening you know you didn't realize how low the sun was going to go but uh, we're going to be moving these panels to the roof of the cabin once it's built and hopefully that'll get them up past the trees a little, a little bit better so that they'll get uh, get more sun um, and then yeah I mean in the summer it's the sun's like right up there so it's there's nothing blocking it uh, so yeah it's it's almost difficult to describe right because you get you get all the all the power you'd ever want in the summer but in the winter you really got to be careful with it but uh yeah so hopefully this helped somebody out um and uh if you want to drop some comments and if you have any questions i'll i'll do my best to answer them and we'll uh we'll see you next time guys Bye bye